Hey guys, back with another Pokemon Renegade Platinum. This is going to be video number two. So, um, a few things have changed actually since the last video. Um, and it, so in the last video, obviously, we got our starter, Piplup, and made it here to Sandgem Town, talked to uh, a Professor, and we also got the two other starters, uh, um, what do you call them? Jim <laughs> Char and Turtwig, and then we went back to see Mom, and she gave us an Eevee. So, um, yeah, we got uh, all these Pokemon here. Uh, yeah, Piplup, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Eevee. You may notice that Piplup, my, my actual starter, is at a higher level <laughs> than it was in the last video. So, in the last video, I was actually playing on no-cash GBA, or using the no, like the no-zoomer, uh, to kind of modify it. And, um, basically, I wasn't able to save. Like, it wouldn't let me save the game. Um, I tried just saving it the normal way, like how you would if you were playing on the DS, and also um, like doing a safe state, and it wouldn't it wouldn't do it for me. So, like uh, basically, what I played, what you saw in the first video, was all lost. Luckily, it was only just you know like you know not a lot of, of you know playtime at all. So I was able to just replay up to the part that I ended. But I'm actually using the Desmumi emulator. Now, does Moom? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um, yeah, I'm actually using that emulator now. This is the first time I've actually used uh, the Des Moom emulator since Pokemon Blaze Black. Um, I used it for that game, and I really didn't like it when I used it before. Um, I'm using it now, and it seems to be so far working pretty good. I feel like it might run actually a little bit smoother than the NoCash GBA. I feel like it looks better too. So um, for the foreseeable future, I am going to actually go ahead and, and use this emulator for, um, let's see, I am going to use, um, oh I don't have any, if I'm going to go catch Pokemon I need Pokeballs. So I'm going to use this emulator. Um, kind of going forward here. Oh, I have 10 potions. Perfect. Antidote. Let me get, like, uh, five of those. Yes. And then Paralyze Heal. Let me get, like, five of those, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, I did decide that I... I want to go ahead and... I'm going to use one of these flying type Pokemon that appear over here. Starly and Pidgey both appear over here. So I've decided I'm going to use just whichever one pops up first. Because in the last video I caught a Pidgey. And, uh, like, I couldn't decide if I wanted to use that or Starly. But then that didn't really, you know, matter. Because I ended up losing that game anyway. So this one here, I told myself, okay, I'm just going to come over here, run around, see what I can find. And just the first Pokemon that I run into is the one that I'll use. So, let's see if it's going to be Starly or Pidgey. Well, so far it's just Nidoran. Oh, and also, um, the Death Moomy Emulator doesn't really speed up like no cash GBA does, as far as I know. If, if you know of like a setting I can mess with in Death Moomy to like, actually like speed up the gameplay as I'm playing, let me know, because I would love to be able to speed it up to like one and a half times like I did on Desmumi, so, um, yeah, let me know if that's like even a thing on this emulator. <clears throat> and also, if I can, well, I don't know, I was going to say, if I can like somehow save the game correctly, then, you know, I, I wouldn't mind using no zoomer. But when I, I tried to use no cash GBA just by itself, and that didn't really, like, when I, when I, like, brought up the ROM, it crashed. So I wasn't even able to bring it up, like, just using no cash GBA by itself. I had to use the no zoomer, um, along with it in order to even play the game. But then, obviously, you know, like I said, I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to, uh, um, save anything. I know that Starly and Pidgey both appear here. Oh my goodness. Well, Dynamite's gonna be, like, 
I'm, I'm gonna be battling these folks just to, you know, get experience, and Dynamite's gonna be, like, way ahead of everyone else. Is the, X, is the EX, EXP share a thing in this game? I've gotten so used to that in, like, the, the games that I've been playing. I remember the EXP all from the, like, original games, which, it, like, gave, like, a tenth of the experience to... The other Pokemon on your team. Oh, the EXP share, it's a held item, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Let's do this then. Uh, let's use Pound, actually. Because I don't want to knock this thing out, and I'm afraid of what Bubble might do. Okay, okay, we'll use another Pound. Uh, we'll use the Pokeball here. So now, I have no idea what I want to nickname this thing. I need to come up with something quick, though, unless I want to wait for the Name Raider, which I guess I could do. I don't know where the Name Raider is in this game, though, so... Alright, we got Starly, though. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Um, no, not yet, just because I don't know what I want to nickname it. Um, that's going to be my question of the day, guys. What should I nickname the Starly? Um, you know, keep in mind it will eventually evolve into Star Raptor. Um, but until then... Actually, actually, you know, I am going to deposit the other two starters. Because I know for sure I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to go ahead and deposit... Actually... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deposit them. I'll deposit the Eevee. I'll, I'll keep those three, just in case. Are you a name writer? You look like a name writer. Oh. <laughs> that guy looks like he should be a name writer. Alright, um... Well, without further ado, let's go this way. Route 202. Oh look, there's Dawn. Yes, heal my Pokemons! Wait, do you always battle Dawn right here? I don't remember battling Dawn here, like, before. Is this new? Oh my goodness, her Chimchar's already at level 9? Bubble. Well, I guess that makes sense, as Rowan's assistant, that she would be kind of strong already. But actually, if she's Rowan's assistant, you would think she would be even stronger than that, so I don't know. Luckily, Dynamite already has Bubble, and you should get good experience for this, too. Oh, it didn't... it didn't go all the way. I'm glad I didn't switch into Star... well, maybe I should have switched into Starly, actually and then switched out. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to put Starly up front. Alright, defeated Pokemon Trainer, Dawn. Oh yeah, that's like, I guess a known issue in this game. Lucas. Whoa! I guess, I guess she was named for the, um, the male, uh, starter, or the male rival, or the male assistant. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that, but let me do this. Let me put Starly up front here, and I'm actually gonna move Tur- no, I'm gonna move Turtwig. I'm still getting used to the controls on this thing. There we go. Alright, so Starly's up front. There we go. This should, this should be good now. So apparently, right here, you can run into some pretty decent Pokemon. There's Shinx. Ooh. Yeah, my, my team right now is, uh, not good against Shinx.
Is this a trainer? Oh my goodness! We got our first trainer battle, tra trainer battle, guys. Trainer battle. We got our first trainer battle. If I can actually talk. Sintret. Level 7. Dang, they're already strong. Alright, well, let's see what Starly can do here. Sentry is his quick attack. Okay. Alright, Starly is not going to do that much damage. Not bad, actually, for that thing having two levels on her. Defense curl. Alright, I will go ahead and switch now into Dino Might. See, that's the thing about these older games, is when you, like, were trying to raise up a Pokémon... You couldn't really depend on the EXP share to, um... You know, help. You had to send them in and do this sort of thing. So... And when I say these older games, um... You know, this game, I know, like, in the grand scheme of Pokémon, isn't really considered to be one of the older games, but... It's been out for a while now. Um, let's see. I will definitely switch into Starly. We're gonna be uh, going to the Pokemon Center a lot, um, using a lot of potions. Okay, yeah, one more tackle is going to be it for Starly, so we'll go back to Dynamite. Okay, Bubble. Defense Curl, but that won't, that won't impact how Bubble does against him. Yay, Starly! Let's see, when does Starly learn, like, Gust or Peck or something? And Dynamite's almost at level 11, so that's cool. No kidding. Alright, so here's a guy. Uh, let me... I keep pressing the enter button. So let me do this, then. Let me do Potion on Dynamite. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Because I'm just gonna send Starly in and take Starly out, like, right away. Youngster Tristan with the hoot hoot. The pre-evolved form of my namesake. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go on into Dynamite here. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not, um, recording the lower screen just because Nothing really goes on in the lower screen except where you choose your moves and stuff. And, um, I don't know, all the action takes place in the upper screen, so. And plus, with this Dismumi emulator, it's, a, it's just a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to record that lower screen. Um, so, unless you actually have, like, two different recording things going on. Or I guess I could record it, like, in one big video, but I just, I feel like that just doesn't look good. Like, for, like, the actual, like, video purposes, so. Yeah. Yay, Starly! So Starly's actually leveling up pretty quickly, that's good. <clears throat> They're actually both leveling up pretty quickly. Dynamite wants to learn Peck, okay. Yeah, we will have it forget... Let's see, Water Sport, what does Water Sport do? It weakens Fire, which I don't think is going to be that useful. Here in the early stages of the game, Growl can be a little bit useful. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have it forget Water Sport, actually. I feel like that's a strange move for it to learn this early on. Oh no, he's going to send in Starly. Yeah. So we'll switch here. I feel like my team is, like, very Sinnoh so far. <laughs> you know, I have the Sinnoh starter, obviously. I have the Sinnoh, like, bird type. You know, the, you know, their 
kind of, you know, dedicated bird type, the Pidgey of the Sinnoh region, if you will. I don't know, Starly's a good Pokemon. Star Raptor is a good Pokemon, I should say. So, I mean, it's it's one that uh, it will definitely help. But I do want to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, Pokemon from Gens 1 through 4 are available in this game only. So, um, yeah. I was trying to decide in the last video <laughs> if I wanted to use that Eevee. But uh, I don't. I don't think so. I think. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with uh, with uh, not using Eevee. Obviously, I was gonna evolve the Eevee into something, but uh, a little bit Eeveed out right now. No, I'm just kidding. I really love that game, actually. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I'm gonna keep uh, uploading those videos like on uh, kind of the same pace as I have been. Um, I mentioned in the last video that I've actually already played through the main game portion of Let's Go Eevee and, and like beat the game. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Stupid furry swipes, I swear. Yeah, I am gonna actually switch Pokemon because... I... Yeah, the Sentret, I've got it down all the way. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to let it get away without getting at least some experience for someone. Even if it is Dynamite, who doesn't really need it. Ah, but Starlight totally would have leveled up there. Oh well. Um, well, as I said before, going to be a lot of uh, visits to the Pokemon Center. Lots of potions being used here in the early stages of the game. I don't have any revives yet, so I have to come back to the Pokemon Center. Because I really, really want Starly to get experience, like, quickly. So that I can actually like start using Starly like full time as opposed to like switching in and out of Piplup like this, so. Alright, back to work. Can't buy repels yet. Let's see what this is. Another Sentra. Alright, you know what, Starly? Here is where you get your revenge. Okay, so now Starly has been identified. That's that's great. So for the longest time, I thought Foresight was just like like some stupid move that had no like like point to it whatsoever. But what Foresight actually does, um, and in this case it has no point. But what Foresight actually does is it allows a normal type Pokemon or even a Fighting type Pokemon to hit a Ghost-type Pokémon with a, with normal or Fighting-type moves. Um, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, wow! Wing Attack! I didn't realize Starly learned Wing Attack this early. Or maybe that's, a, that's an upgrade for the hack, so... That's good, though. That's a really good move. That's a really good move for this stage in the game. Like, for, you know, later on in the game, like when Starly's like in the 40s, Wing Attack will actually still not be a terrible move. But at this stage in the game, wing attack is like broken. <laughs> Dang, that that tackle did a lot of damage. It did a lot more than it should have. Zigzagoon was legit though. Like Zigzagoon was like a legit Pokemon that you could like totally use like in the, in the first part of the game. Budoof sucked. Budoof always sucked. Um, I don't know why Budoof gets a lot of hate. Well, I do. Have you seen it? And it's it's just, it's not good. He has a Growlithe. And I believe you can actually catch Growlithe here on this here route. Um, wing attack. Ooh. It's a good thing I learned Wing Attack. Just don't burn me, whatever you do. But this guy had three Pokemon. Okay, quick attack for the quick kill. Quick faint, I should... Oh, what? <sighs> I thought quick attack would be enough. Well, this is terrible. Uh, maybe I just need to, like, train Starly up a little bit. Is that what kind of game this is going to be, Drano? <laughs> 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's it's good so far. I like the level. I can already see the level curve, like like coming to work. Look at that, 136 experience. Can you imagine what that would have done for Starly? Ah, uh, Burmia is next. Oh crap. Um, well actually no. Well, I have to keep that because Starmie is fainted. Starmie, Starly is fainted. Okay, Peck. Oh, but uh, if I had just had Starly use Wing Attack there instead, and then it would have come into this Burmy and probably taken it out in one hit. Zigzagoon. We were just talking about how legit Zigzagoon is. Another thing that I really need to be on the lookout for in this game are shiny Pokemon because um, I'm playing the version of this patch where the um, like the the rate of increasing shiny Pokemon has been increased like pretty good. Um, so we might actually see some shiny Pokemon pop up while we're uh, just you know kind of wandering through the grass here. So I think I am like. Let's see, that kid. I need to battle this guy. Um, let me come in here, though, because here we are at Jubilife City. Here's Dawn. No, I just want to go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, what is this, Sun and Moon? Oh, that's Looker. We didn't. Alright, are you gonna let me go to the Pokemon Center now? Okay, thank you. Pokemon Center. <laughs> I'll check out the trainer school in the next video. But for right now, I just want the Pokemon Center, and then there was a, a trainer down there that I still need to battle. He's not even a trainer. <laughs> okay, well, we got a potion, so that's good. We used one earlier, so that'll kind of replace it. All right, let's see what this is. I think, I believe Growlithe does appear on this route. Centret, okay. You know what, I am gonna have Starly uh, battle this thing just to get some experience. There, but I'm now I'm, I'm like extremely weary of doing that. Well, he did use defense curl, so I don't know. Maybe it's good that I did that. Hey, level nine. Level nine. Good stuff. All right. Um. So here's Jubilife City, and as far as you guys are concerned, I have not actually gone into the city yet. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for watching guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, we're saving a lot of data. Hold on. The video's not quite over yet until all this lot of data is saved. Okay, this is taking forever.
but I know the screen's not frozen because I still see the little thing spinning around down there. Okay, there we go. Matt saved the game. Perfect. All right, now I will say goodbye. Y'all have a good one.